Hey guys and welcome, my name is Olga. Today we're covering workout number five. It's a fun one, it's 12 minutes of HIT intervals. HIT means high intensity interval training and we'll focus on 40 seconds of exercise, 20 seconds rest, and we'll do that for 12 minutes. Before we get into workout, let's get started with our warm up. Our warm up will start with inchworms. Find some space, we'll simply reach down, try to touch your toes, walk forward, bring your hips down into a cobra position, and then walk back like that. That's one. Let's go, guys. We'll cover up a little bit more. Again, take your time. This is two, we'll do three more. So five inch warm to Cobra. Three. Take your time on this. Again, if you wanna spend more time stretching our hamstrings in this position, that's fine. Touch the ground if you can. If not, don't worry about it. Try to hold on to your calves or ankles and pull yourself down like that. And last one, guys. Walking forward. Nice. Next one is going to be butt kick skips. So we did knee skips, okay? We're going to do butt kick skips. So one, two, three, four, five, six, relax, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, nice. So all it is, is you're just skipping, kind of jumping up a little bit, and then kicking your leg up to your butt, and then landing, and again, switch one, two, three. That's in slow motion. All right, guys, next one is going to be a reverse sit-ups. We'll do 10 of those. I'm just gonna put my mic down. So reverse sit-ups, you're just gonna lay down, and instead of regular setups where we bring our torso up, we're gonna raise our legs and bring them up. So you can hold on to the mat or press with your palms down into the ground. And we're gonna raise our legs up, preferably our hips too. And then slowly touch your feet up. You can squeeze at the top a couple seconds, stretch, and then down. All right, guys, three. Still try to keep your Lower back, press into the ground, so you're not arching your back. I believe this is five. Again, take your time when you're lowering your legs down, so you're not just kind of throwing your legs down into the ground. We'll do a few more. Nice. Breathe through, guys, and last one. Nice. From this position, we're going to do figure four stretch. It's a nice hip stretch. We're gonna kick one leg up onto the other leg by the knee. You're gonna keep your hands between your knee. That's uh, the leg that is down. So we're gonna, from here, bring your chest up and relax, feel a stretch in your hip. And again, pull up Feel a stretch in your hip and then relax. And again, press up, stretch out and relax. You're gonna switch legs. Again, what I'm doing here is simply and is I'm laying in this position, kicking one leg up. So it's a figure four. And then we're gonna hold down behind our knee, bar quad. And you're gonna press that leg up to your chest, stretch out, breathe. You can also bring your elbow into the knee that's up press it in so you feel more of a stretch in your hip and then again relax and press and again pull that knee up to your chest press and breathe and relax okay we will do one more set starting with inch worms to cobra position and again reach down try to touch your toes move forward Hips down, breathe, and walk back. Nice, I'll do one. Take your time. Two. 
three more. And again, if you want to pause there for a second in cobra position, turn to one side or the other side. Feel free to do that. Take your time. Again, this is just a warm up. Listen to your body. If you want some to do some extra stretches, you can always do that. Remember, this warm up is suggested, but it's not set in stone. So see how your body feels. Last one. Nice. All right, next is butt kicks. Again, one, two, three, four. Relax your foot. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and rest. Good. Reverse sit ups next. Let's go. And one. Press your lower back down, two. Take your time lowering your legs, three. And breathe, four, five. Really work those abs, six, seven, eight. Lower down slowly, nine and 10. All right, guys. If figure four was kind of easy stretch, try to do pigeon pose stretch. It's the same stretch targets, the same muscles, but it's a little bit more intense. So how do you do this? Is you simply bring the knee up, whatever side you choose to do it, tuck your knee in, and then bring that foot slightly to the side so that you can put your hips down. And ideally, I'm gonna stay in sideways, ideally, you want to be able to lay down like that with no problem. If you can, you can just stay up, okay? Make sure that your hips are not rolling over, okay, to the side. So you can come up, hold in that position, or lower yourself down to make it more challenging. If you feel it in your knee, which you really shouldn't in this stretch, go back to that position that we did in figure four and try that stretch instead. It's a little bit easy on the knee joint, but again, try to play around, see what works for you. I'll do this time pigeon pose stretch. And again, I'll do it on both sides. You can hold it at this position anywhere from around 20 to 30 seconds. Again, listen to your body. If this feels pretty easy, what you can also do is kick that heel up a little bit higher and really let your hips sink and stretch out, breathe. I'm really feeling this one on my left side. So try to play around. We'll talk about what is ahead of our workout, number five. I'm super excited for this workout. It's gonna be three rounds of four movements. So three rounds, we're gonna do 40 seconds of exercise, 20 seconds of uh, rest, and just catch a breath. So the first exercise is gonna be burpees. We are finally in the burpees area. So how do you do burpees? First of all, get yourself up. There are millions ways of to do burpee. Burpee is simply our way to get up. Okay, so don't think of it any more than that. You should be able to get up from the floor, whatever um, you know situation you're in, and to know all the different variations they can do, it can help you in the future. So burpees, I'm gonna just show a couple variations that you can try, and then the full movement that I will do. So how we can do it? We can do it from high plank position, meaning. I'm gonna start my movement from the top. I'm gonna get into the plank position from our hands, which is called athletic position. And we, I'm gonna simply put one leg up, other leg up, and then just get up. And then I can do a little hop for extras. Now, the next variation is do the same way I go down and then step back. And then for me to get back up, I'm gonna jump to my hands and then come up. All right, and again, I can jump on the top. Another variation, again, these are going a little bit harder as we are progressing, is stepping back, coming up, and then linking the two movements. 
third variation where we can do, or fourth, I think, we're going to put our hands down, jump back into a plank position, jump up to our hands, and then jump up. Now, the full burpee movement that I will be doing, you can join me too in this one, is actually going all the way down into a push-up, chest touching the ground, and then coming up, jumping my feet to my hands, and then jumping up. It's going to look like this. I'm going to go down into a burpee, come up, press, and then jump up. So, this is first exercise, burpees. Second exercise is going to be V up, feet apart, twice. Now, what does that mean? We're going to be laying down on our back to start with. And as we did our V-ups, which is bringing our legs up, you can keep your legs bent in your knees if you want to, to ease off a little bit. We're going to come up and bring our feet one, two, apart, and then down. That's going to be our one set, so or one rep. So what are we going to do? You can, again, play around with this. You can come up, keep your legs bent. You can bring your feet apart twice, or you can bring your feet apart once, okay? Or if you want to try to bring your legs straight apart together once and then down. That's our V-ups. Next exercise is going to be squat leg kick. So you're going to find yourself position a squat, get down, squat to the position you feel like you can do it for a while. You're going to come up, shift your weight to the side and kick your leg up to the side. Then again, you're going to go down to a squat position, come up, shift our weight to the other side, kick our leg up, and then return towards the middle. So it's going to look like this, kick to the side, down, kick to the side, down, and sideways, squat, kick, squat, kick. So you're squatting, shifting, kicking. Work those glutes, work those hips to help you kick your leg up. And a fourth movement is going to be a Russian twist. I will be holding a little foam to help me hold something in my hands and as I turn I'll tap the phone on the ground come up and then down in the demo video I just simply hold the book you can do hold the book too or something in your hands that will allow you to turn it's not just arms touching okay you're turning your whole torso engaging your obliques so Russian twist looks like that you're gonna lay down on the floor or the mat you're gonna hold the phone whatever book you have you're gonna come up legs bend in your knees you're gonna turn with your torso tap other side turn tap and then down that's gonna be one rep all right we are going into our workout we will start in just a few seconds what I'm going to start is an app that has the interval so it's gonna give me a little signal to go we'll count down to three seconds and then it's gonna start counting 40 seconds we'll do exercise we'll hear a beep and then it'll let us know when we have to rest 20 seconds and then again we'll hear a beep that's when we have to start another exercise to move on and move on until we get through the resets all right, let's do this. Pause it, break it a little bit, get some water, and return back because we're doing this together, guys. Whoop, 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 whoop. Come on. If you would like to keep a score off your workout, off your exercise per round, what you can do, and I'll do too, is grab yourself a piece of paper, write down three columns. One, two, three, because that's the number of sets we're doing, and then four rows down. For the time we are rest, you can write down the reps that you completed for that round. Let's say for the first set, 40 seconds, maybe you're able to complete 15 burpees. Just write it down when you rest, make sure you count your own reps. That's what I will do, and that's how I will keep track of my performance for this workout. Okay, last thing. Find variation for each exercise that you can maintain for 40 seconds. Try to push yourself without pain. That's our main goal. Again, play around, find exercise that you can maintain for a little while and we'll get started with the timer right now. I am starting my timer on my phone, which will tell me the beeps 
and I'm starting another timer just in case my phone dies or something happens. So you don't need to set up your timers if you don't want to, simply just follow the video and we will get started in about eight seconds. We'll start it with burpees. Three. And let's go. One. Make sure you count. If you want to keep track, four. Halfway through. And 12. All right, rest. I was able to do 12 burpees. I was focusing on the jump up, making it more explosive. Next set is going to be V-ups twice apart. We'll go in five seconds. Get yourself down. One. Here we go, guys. Remember. Maintain your form, or try to. Don't worry about the time, we're going fast. Ooh, these are burners. Okay, that was 18. I think, you know, it's hard to talk and count at the same time. I'll do my best. So, all right, in three seconds we go. Let's go, squat, kicks. One, two, squat, shift, kick. Here you go, just keep moving. If you can't keep up, don't worry about it. You're going your own pace, you're moving. That's all that matters, you guys. You made it. You already made it. I don't even know what rep I'm on, but that's okay. You can just listen to me and count your own reps. Nice. Use those hips, a few more seconds. All right, check it out. Our next one is Russian twist. And where is my phone? My phone was right here. Again, you can use book, whatever you guys need, just to kind of help you hold something in your hands. We'll go in five seconds. Woo! Let's go. One. Turn your torso, not just your arms. Three. Where are those obliques? It's okay for your knees to be bent when you come up. Make sure you're pressing your lower back down into the ground. You also don't have to swing all the way back. Just keep the foam in front of you. That's it. All right, you guys, all right. you guys but I feel it and if you think it's easy for me I'm going through the same thing as you just different pace so let's get it together we're entering round two starting with burpees let's go Woo. one Nice guys. Try to maintain the pace. Don't start too fast. Cause you will die in the end. And we don't want that. Woo. 
and rest. Don't know how many reps I did because I talked through that. But please keep up with the reps because that will let you kind of understand where you at. Ooh. We are twice apart next in five seconds. Let's go. One. Come on, guys. Three. Four. Let the butt move in. It's okay if your legs a little bit bent. Don't worry about it. Keep moving. I'm doing the burn. Yeah, these suck. Weather is so good for you. And breathe, breathe out on your effort, which is when you coming out or coming up or pressing and pushing. Woo. All right, squat. Side kicks are next. Pull out your pants if you're wearing any. Pull your own butt naked. That's kind of close too. Let's go. Four seconds. One. Make sure you're pressing those knees out at the bottom. Work it, kick it. A few more seconds. Let's go. Remember, you're already a winner. We're on round two. Oh yeah. Halfway there. More than halfway, yeah. I see that here, those beeps. And rest. Our old time favorite, the twist. Coming up to the house. 10 seconds and we go. Let's go. Let's get ourselves ready. Woo! Woo nice. Here we go. We can switch sides too. Alternate which side we're starting. Woo! Feel the burn in those abs. Don't just do it for the six packs. For the legs, right? That should mean something to you. And that something is your hard work, your freaking sweat, your commitment to yourself, to take care of yourself and spread that shit everywhere. Yes. Woo. Rest. Oh. All right. All right, guys. We're all gonna be on our last round. Starting in 10 seconds, where does the time go? Woo. All right, burpees. Let's go. Here we go, guys. 10 more seconds. You got it. Keep going. Keep moving. Here you go. Oh, oops. I finished about all seconds earlier. Here you go. Last set of our 12 minute workout. Isn't it crazy how 20 seconds just goes by so fast? Oh my goodness, let's go. Woo! One, two, three, four, five. I don't know why my voice is so bitch high. Six, seven, eight, nine. God, these are crazy hard. If you're doing that, you're winning. Oh my god. Let's go. I'm just like 
you guys. Uh, yes. And the squats are next. So let's get ready. Fix your ponytails. Whatever, your shorts, whatever. Yeah, let's go. Together. And this. Five more seconds. And you know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Keep those legs. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Nice, you got it. Push through, count to yourself, your own reps. You don't have to keep up. You can put it on me, on me right now, but we got two seconds. Woo! Rest, last one, on the twist. Let's go. Two seconds, lay down, you can meditate if you want to for those two seconds. Sorry, 10, well, two now. Let's go. Here we go. Nice, nice last movement of today. And you can do for the rest of the day whatever you want. Here we go. Ooh. Are you there yet? A few more seconds. Yes, you got it. Keep pushing it through. Let's go. Yes. Woo! That's it, guys. We made it through 12 minutes. And it all starts in your head, in your mind. I knew you had it in you. If you feel like you've struggled a little bit, that's okay, good. Again, find your pace that works for you. Just keep moving through those, those 40 seconds. Rest, take deep breath in those 20 seconds. I'll see you guys next time. Share it, like it, subscribe. I love you. See you soon.